Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today, we're going to be blasting some larva. But first, the four track promo on Stitch and Black Hand. Killer four tracks of Romanian Doomy Death Sickness. And now, in conspiracy with Dawn Breed Records, Stitch and Black Hand have released this new 7 inch sickening cadaveric perversion, which sadly I've cleaned multiple times now using every technique I know, and I'm not having very good luck with actually even being able to make it through a song on my turntable. But I just did an outtake where I put on some Last Days of Humanity, which is what I'm going to do for a second because this is so good, I really want it to play on the turntable so you can hear it because it's fucking great. Lasilla's voc vocals make this worth the price of admission alone, but also Disgusting Dennis, I really like his bass tone. His drumming style is very just, it's fucking great. Like, really, really sick stuff here. And um, I really like the continuation of... That's from Cannibal Ferox, and I am 98% sure that's from Cannibal Holocaust. When they find the filmer's bodies, but I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, but... I love the cover with like the cursive and stuff. It's just fucking gross. But let's check Last Days of Humanity real quick. And keep in mind, for some reason, no matter what, it's always a little bit crackly when there's like a sample. I need some new audio cables, but that's not the problem here, as I'll show you. And the thing is, I don't want to show you. Like, I want it to play through. I want, you know, to have fixed it. But, real quick, just so you know, I'm not putting a CD or anything on. This is the B-side of Last Days of Humanity's Hymns of Insupportable... I meant Hymns of Indigestible Separation. Yeah. I was fucking looking at the poster and read it wrong. I apologize. Alright. So, let's do this. Make sure everything's cool and then we'll try the 7 inch again. But, I know some of you do not like real gore. So, like, real quick. This is some sick shit, like... I'm not even fronting. If you like gore grind, this is 1999. Hell's Headbangers did the reissue. It's amazing. If oh, I love this band so much. Yeah. Let's see how it goes when it goes into one of my favorite drum beats. Alright, so this is playing fine. So, keep your fingers crossed because I have mine and my toes crossed that the um, seven inch of the new larva can actually be played. Because I would love to throw that seven inch on and be able to actually enjoy the songs without having to listen to them on my cell phone through my uh, iPod, whatever those things are called, ear pods. Like, it sounds great, don't get me wrong, but I want to listen to it on wax. If you, if I had a light, you could really see the red. Because 
you could see it here like and i just cleaned this but really quick on the b side i just want to show you what the problem has been i can't clean these off i don't know why i can't get i can't get rid of them I mean, it, I did a kind of good job. I did a way better job than I have here. But there's a ton of scratches on here. And like I said, I haven't made it through one song um, off the 7-inch yet. So let's give it a whirl. Please fucking work. Because this is, see, I want to talk about how good this is. So this is Necrolepic Apparitions, if it works. Normally we'll get to the halfway point and it starts acting up. And I haven't touched the volume by the way. This is the same volume that was on with the uh, Last Days of Humanity. But it is a 7 inch, so I understand, you know, it, these things happen. But it, this is just so good. And I'm just kind of wishing it had a cassette release. Like, that sounds fucking aw- like, that sounds gross and awesome. Alright, so it's working. I mean, that's just, that's top volume, which is strange, but again, it's just a 7-inch. Her vocals, so good. Like, if somebody did release this on tape, like... Fucking A, I need to try and get a copy. Alright, we're working. This is pretty good so far. Everything seems to be playing. I don't hear too much popping. Maybe I did. Maybe I fixed it. That was awesome, that little laugh. I like that stuff. You hear what I mean? Like it's just slow and feels like just vomit churning inside your like. Wow. Awesome. Now. This is playing pretty good so far. I'm kind of stoked. Now here's where I normally have problems. No. After the sample. Which I can't put my finger on. I know I've heard this before. But I, I can't. I can't like remember what movie this is from. I'm not sure. I think I'm a bit afraid. But like gore-ridden death doom metal? Larva. Sickening cadaveric perversion. This seems to be working. So. Alright. This is the part. I think I might have cleaned it properly. This is like 11 plus minutes of just killer fucking shit, by the way. Boy. 
two tracks. Very happy this is not skipping and stuff. I guess I just needed to clean it a couple times. Oh no. Fuck! Hold on. Okay, it's still playing. I don't think we've hit any. Wait. Wait. Oh, thought we made it past it. I apologize. Fuck. Well. I don't know what to tell you folks besides this is extremely good, but obviously the seven inch hates me and I really need to get a hold of my buddy and figure out how to put this bad boy in the, uh, fucking, uh, dishwasher because the I really can't get these little tiny white uh, specks out and I've tried everything like I've tried the liquid even and for some reason this isn't working and that normally does the job right there like that shit's like uh, the vinyl style like that that's some good stuff alongside uh, but, you know, that's my luck. But, on Stitch and Black Hand and Dawn Breed Records, we have new material from Larva coming off of the killer promo tape. This is why I kind of wish this was on tape. So, I could be able to, you know, not stress it, not playing. Which is so weird. But, whatever. Get into larva. Awesome stuff here, seriously. I love the I love the promo. And I've been listening to this digging down the trails. So I've been looking forward to playing it physically, but sadly it's just not working. This song's catchy and just badass. I, I love the promo. But I love Larva in general. So, when it comes to sickening, cadaveric, perversion though, these two songs are very very fucking awesome when it comes to larva sound and you know you can go very easily from the promo to the new material and then you have six songs so it's kind of like having an ep or a full length i'm weird like that i like combining stuff and making like my own imaginary full length but I'm not going to be able to do it physically, obviously, as this is not really working out too well. But the whole time, too, I was like, man, I really wish they would have put this out on tape. And I I'm guessing probably Dawn Breed might have done a cassette. Because to me, that makes it makes sense. Two tracks, like, 
make the program repeat on both sides. Like, I think that'd be cool as shit. Or reissue the promo with the two new songs, but I don't know. I just have bad luck. I guess, with 7-inch records, because I, I don't get it. And the weight on my arm is, truck. everything's fine. It's just a bummer. But when it comes to something that's not a bummer, that is the sickening sounds of sickening <laughs> death doom metal from Romania. Courtesy of Larva with Sickening Cadaveric Perversion. We have Lacella on vocals, guitars, and cadaveric synths. And Disgusting Dennis on bass and drums. And write your perverted letters to us at larvadeathdoom at gmail.com. And again, I love the cosmetics to this. I just wish I could play it. But... That's life. These things happen sometimes. I even like Lacella's fucking promo photo. It's just sick. The whole entire layout here is sick. I forget what movie that's from, too. But there's Disgusting Dennis. And one of the best death metal duos in the game right now, in my opinion, is Romania's Larva. I know Stitch and Black Hand has copies of the black vinyl available still. And uh, I don't know what Dawnbreed has, but if you live in Europe, that's where you order this from. I know I just played it not working, but that's just my shitty luck. I, I can't attribute it to anything else. But maybe it will get a cassette release and then maybe I can properly enjoy it physically but until then i don't really know what to do here i'm gonna talk to my buddy and see if he can walk me through the um wash the uh washer um cleaning setup the dishwasher i'm just sketchy about it honestly i don't want to fuck shit up that i can't replace because the colored version, and it doesn't really matter, but like the colored version is sold out. But if it got fucked up, it would be my fault and I would just be bummed out about it. So I don't really want to risk it unless I really know what I'm doing. But, you know, digitally, this is so fucking good. And I can't stop like enjoying the title track especially. Sickening cadaveric perversion. It's just fucking exactly what I want to hear when I wanted to hear it. Like, same thing with Necrolepic Apparitions. Like, that song is fucking badass. And same thing with the promo tape. All four songs on here are pure vomit inducing fun. They're heavy, they're doomy, they're murky, and it's great. But I'm just having some problems with the 7-inch, and that's just my luck. Because that's like, you know, I was playing the regurgitated gut 7-inch last night. I mean, like, it's even still, like, right here. So it's definitely not my turntable. But anyways, check out the new Larva in some way, shape, or form. It is 100% worth your time. Again, I just might have had some bad luck here again. But I really love this band, and I really want to push them on you. I'm pretty sure this might have got my demo of the year. Like, for 2020, I forget off the top of my head. It was either this or Gravesend's demo. It was one or the other. They were like neck and neck because they were equally as they, they were just what I wanted. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you, Nick Carpenter. I apologize that once more, you know, had some problems with the release. But these things happen. But... 
Hails to Stitch and Black Hand and Dawn Breed Records, especially Jeff at Dawn Breed Records. Sick guy. And I have to also thank Eric Pike, Julian Henriquez, Ryan Savage, Liber Lilith, Nick Dwyer, Florian Break, Matt Binks, Skyler, Dominic from the UK, Travis Geist, Krang's henchman. Aaron, you're the, and you need to hit me up if you watch this, because I need your advice. Um, Nick Carpenter, Stefano, Jeremy Jansen, Hagbard, and Chris Rice. Thanks for supporting the Patreon, Patreon and, you know, helping the channel out. Because without that, you know... That's enabling us to get better equipment and also hopefully be able to get more releases that, you know, we can review and whatnot. I'm really stressing the new bone sickness. Like, I kind of, I, I don't know if, I don't know what's going on with it, but if I miss it, I'm going to be extremely upset. Because I've been waiting since 2019 for a replacement for my LP. And the cassette as well. And Mitch was supposed to send me a replacement, but he met up with Matt Harvey and did a trade with Matt Harvey. And there goes my copy. So, anyways, thanks for the flag and the shirt, Mitch. I appreciate it. It's just a bummer. You cannot play a t-shirt. But I'm hoping that I can get my hands on, once again, a working copy of Theater of Morbidity. It's, it's a bummer. Like, the cassette doesn't work. The 12-inch, none of them worked. They're, they're, it's like the fucking ocean. They all came warped. But... Supposedly, I was going to get a copy of the original, but he did a trade with Matt Harvey. Like, like I guess a test press, because I guess the test press worked. But he did a trade with Matt, and I get it. You know, it's Matt Harvey, and he's trading you some rare exhumed shit. So, and gruesome stuff. But then afterwards, I was like, dude, I would have, like hooked you up with this, you know, my 100 copy version of Savage Land from Maryland Death Fest, the beer colored special edition, but it was too late, and I, I get it, you know, it's fucking Matt Harvey, you're not gonna say no, dude's a man, legend, but as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule, who's <laughs> Hopefully we don't miss bone sickness, theater, or morbidity, because that would suck. Have a good day. Yeah.